Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Avalanche in one. 38 people died within two days. Heavy rain in Gesaria, Western Armenia. Grigor Narikatsi University of Stepanakert will conduct trainings in Grapar and Western Armenia. Genocide against Armenians in Baku and Sumgate needs to be recognized. New historical archaeological materials have been discovered in Zahkung. Today, Armenian Apostolic Church celebrates Saint Sarkis Day. At least 33 workers have been killed and 53 injured after a second avalanche came down on a mountain road of Ban, Western Armenia. The second avalanche occurred in the morning while the search and rescue operations continued, increasing the overall death toll to 38. The rescue team was struck by the second avalanche. 33 bodies had been recovered from the mass of snow on the steep slope. Some emergency workers are in hospital after either being pulled out of the heap of snow or escaping by themselves. As the eastern part of Western Armenia struggles with heavy snowfall and avalanches, a heavy rain in this area has caused a flood. Because of strong winds and heavy rain in the area, mud flows coming down from the mountains of al have raised the level of the rivers. Some settlements have been submerged. Heavy rain lasted three hours. If it continued a little more, it would be a major disaster. Administration teams have taken security measures in the area. Grigor Narekatsi University of Stepanakert will conduct training in Grapar and Western Armenian starting from March 2. It will be three month free courses on Western Armenian literature and history of the Armenian question. Director of the Center, candidate of Philological Sciences, Professor Amalia Grigorian, told Artsakh Press. According to her, the courses can be attended by high school students, university students, and teachers. Genocide against Armenians has been continuing in Baku, Sumgate, and Nagorno Karabakh and needs to be recognized so that it does not continue with impunity. Caroline Cox said during the Forgotten Refugees, What Happened to Armenians of Baku conference at the European Parliament. She recalled that she is blacklisted by Azerbaijan because of her visits to Artsakh. Many of us have horrible memories of years living in cold and blockaded Armenia, escaping with nothing. So many spirits were broken, so many lives were destroyed. The lives of 350,000 people like me, she said. University of Brussels lecturer David Babayev in turn thanked the European Parliament for offering a platform to voice our concern about the situation with Armenian refugees who were forced to leave Baku in 1990. As a result of cleanup works carried out by Dar Foundation prior to the restoration of one of the headhomes of Tsakong village in Gerard Kunik, materials of architectural value have emerged that document about earlier dates of settlement. Coordinator of the cleaning works, professor of the National University of Architecture and Construction of Armenia, restoration architect David Naat again told Armen Press, it is a fact that old head homes still preserved in Zahkung and other settlements of Gerard Kunik were built not in 1830 after the historical migration when immigrants from Bayazet, Alashkert and Diyarin settled in Seven Basin, but much earlier. You can find the whole article in our website. Today, the Armenian Apostolic Church is celebrating the Feast of Saint Sarkis, one of the most beloved saints within modern Armenian culture, as he is the Armenian patron saint of love and youth. Saint Sarkis Day is celebrated 63 days before Easter, on a Saturday falling sometime between January 18 and February 23. Marking the feast day of St. Sarkis, unmarried young Armenian men and women traditionally eat a piece of salty bread in the hope of seeing their future spouse in a dream. Today a special ritual will be offered in all churches of the country. Now let us present to your attention a song Surp Sarkis Aot Girk. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.